Islam is certainly the truth. However, how can one rule out that it was sent uh, sent down from some other source that we are unaware of? So, uh, Allah. Okay. So, uh, Allah. So, um, yes, Islam is the truth. And how do we know it's the truth? Well, all of the proofs of the truth claim of the Quran and the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the miracles of the Quran, the miracles of the Messenger of Allah, the sound reasoning, the sound arguments, the proofs that we have for the truth of Islam, right? The logical, rational proofs and the proofs that uh, are contained within our primary text and the Messenger of Allah, uh, his miracles in his life. <coughs> so, what is the Quran actually saying? The Quran is actually is, is saying this is from Allah, this book, and Allah wants you to live like this. So, um, and then the miracle that's been performed, uh, well, just looking at the linguistic miracle of the Quran affirms that because it's a challenge, right? It's a challenge. And when you study theology, um, one thing that we affirm, uh, and one thing that we un understand is that the Creator of the universe, the creator of everything, has to have certain qualities, right? Um, because he must be perfect. And a detailed study explains why. But the fact that we exist, the universe exists, means that there's a creator. And that creator has to have certain qualities. And all of the, those qualities indicate that he is perfect. And one of those qualities is that you know, he's true. Right, so the, the revelation is true, and everything indicated by the revelation is true. So once you understand the the proofs for the uh, the existence of God and what qualities He must have, qidam baqa pre eternality, everlastingness, him, him being dissimilar dissimilar to His creation, and not needing anyone or anything, especially this one, oneness. Uh, when, you, when you understand that, you understand He's perfect. He must be perfect. Uh, because all those other qualities entail that you know this being must be perfect so it's not so no it, it, it's you can't really entertain uh, you know that oh there's some aliens out there and they're sent down you know the text and it it doesn't work like that because once you understand who god is and you know what he is you understand that he's perfect and that perfection entails everything that this creator uh, conveys to us is is the absolute truth so this is how it is. So if you have doubts about this, it, um, part of it is either you have OCD, in which case you shouldn't even get into these discussions because someone who's got OCD and is engaging in these discussions, you will never find a satisfactory answer because it's not about rational proof. It's it's about how a person feels when they're you know, uh, thinking about uh, matters that they have OCD regarding. So the, the solution there is find a therapist. Uh, but if it's not because of that, then you know, a detailed study of our theology will make it absolutely clear that, you know, Allah, I mean, in some of the Aqidah books, uh, books on theology and creed, as soon as you open the book, they, they summarize it all. Uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has every perfection and nothing that is an imperfection can be attributed to him. Finished, right? It's, it's, it's all there. But then they unpack it and explain it in, in detail. So no, it's, it is the absolute truth and it's not a case of, you know, it's come from some other source and, you know, it's all a practical joke or something. You know, it's, that's impossible. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah